Hey guys, Chris here from Apache Universe. So in my video yesterday, when I analyzed the poem Do Not Stand on My Grave and Weep, I told you that a big part of the poem is not just in what is said, but also in what is not said. You have the line and you have the space between the line. And if you have stanzas, you have the space between the stanzas, the silence. And when you listen to somebody who recites a poem, if he or she recites the poem well, the silence will be very important and you will be able to hear and enjoy it when you do that. So the reason why I wanted to talk about that today is that, you know, when you describe a situation through poetry, you will say a lot of things, but the, the journey is actually made by the one who reads the poem. So, when I read poems that I wrote, or poems from other people, they look like windows showing the landscapes of things that I felt, or that the writer felt. And if it's like my poems, they, they will show emotions, promises that I made to myself, or to other people, or situations that I wanted to describe. And it's like when you look at a window, you will see the landscape outside, or the streets, or whatever, and you will not see everything. But you know what is outside. So when you see the street, you will guess the rest of the street. You know what I mean? You will guess the rest of the, the landscape. It's, it's exactly the same when it comes to poetry. And the reason why I wanted to bring you here today, in this place full of paintings, again, the paintings of my mothers that I really like, is because it's the same thing when it comes to paintings. When I look at these paintings, they look like windows, so it's showing things, different things. And the, like, the thing that I really like is that if you're in a house and you have a window and another window, they will show the same thing. But here, I can see so many different types of landscapes, so many different situations, the same way for poetry. Like here, for example, you will see a planet, you will see mountains, you will see people. And you know, obviously, that this painting doesn't show the old reality, but you guess it. The same way, the space there, everything that is not being showed in the painting is the silence of the poem. You see what I mean? So obviously some poems are very long, some poems are very short, some are sophisticated, some are really simple, but in my opinion, the same rule, the same power of silence is to be found in every poem. I was thinking about that the other day when I watched a video on YouTube about the haiku, you know, the short Japanese poems. Three lines, and there are really specific rules. I'm gonna put the link in the description. And the guy, the Japanese guy said in the video that he thought the silence in poetry was really important for the Japanese people. And I was thinking that was really interesting and I want to know more about the art of haiku. But I think it's the same thing when it comes to every poem. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that today and I wanted to show you that. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like poetry, so keep reading poetry. And I have a poetry website by the way, I'm going to put the link in the description. Please check it out and let me know what you think. Have a good day. Enjoy.